Right, this is a lecture on the matrices that are involved in the matrices and forms course. They're not too difficult, it's just some basic definitions really and a, a quick example. And also I've got a proof as well, which I don't normally do, but uh, it might come up in the exam. Right, first, definitions. A Hermitan matrix, this is a matrix which is equal to its conjugate transpose, and we donate this as a H. So here we've got, let's pretend this is a matrix here, 6... 2 minus i, 2 plus i, 6. If we find the conjugates, we put a line over the top, and then the transpose, we put a t. First, we'll transpose it, so the 6 stay where they are. These things swap place. We've got 2 minus i, 2 plus i. Then we want to find the conjugates, so we reverse all the imaginary uh, values. So we've got, so that plus i becomes a minus i, this minus i becomes plus i, and we can see this final matrix here is equal to the beginning here, so it's a Hermitan matrix. So that's correct. Right, and the eigenvalues of these are always real. That's another thing. Right, and if a Hermitan matrix is... Re uh, we've got a proof of this later. If uh, one of these matrices is all real values, so there's no imaginary values, then it's called a symmetric matrix because uh, it's equal to its transpose. Uh, and you don't need to do the conjugate thing. Uh, and, right, here's some more. A unitary matrix. This is where uh, a function's inverse is equal to its uh, conjugate transpose. So here u times uh is i. And a, no a normal matrix is when you can multiply it by its conjugate, and it's equal to the same over here. So a times a h is a h times a. Right. Now, we're going to prove that the eigenvalues are always real. So for each eigenvalue, lambda, we've got an eigenvector, x. And what we're going to do first is we're going to multiply both sides by x to the h, so the Hermitan thing, and we get xh ax equals lambda x xh. And here we can see, because this is just going to transpose it and find the conjugate, that's going to tell us the norm of it because you'll have a the plus imaginary part times the minus imaginary part which will cancel it off and all the i's will disappear so we can call it this here which is the norm squared um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the h of both sides so we're going to find the uh, conjugate transpose of both sides of, so this one and uh, this one here. So if we do that to this side first, the x's will stay as they are, but the because this will change, this will change back into an x, but and this will go to the x h, and the a will go to a h. So we've got left it like this. We've got the a h here, but we know that a h times a is equal to a times a h so they're exactly the same because that's a it's normal right and so we can let this equal lambda x the norm of x squared because this is here yeah and now if we multiply the other side here remember these x's will say well we can do it here yeah the x won't change because we'll just this will go to a h and this won't have a h so we're just going to find the conjugate of this lambda here. So we'll call it lambda star. And now what we've got is we've got that we've done one side and we've done the other side. So this is one side, this is the other side, which tells us that lambda star is equal to lambda. So they both must be real because the conjugate of this is equal to the, the, the original. So there's no imaginary parts changing. Right, now we've just got a quick example. Which of these are normal? So... Remember, if we're starting with normals, which means you can multiply this by its trans conjugate transpose, and it will equal the conjugate transpose times itself. So we'll do this one first. We have the, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, multiplied by 1, 3, 2, 4, which is the conjugate transpose. And this gives us 5, 11, 11, 25. And if you do it the other way around, so we multiply this one first and then this one, then we'll get 10, 14, 14, 20, which is not... And because these aren't equating, that means it is not normal. The next one, uh, do the exact same, reverse it, 
uh, uh, well, sorry, transpose it, which means this becomes a negative, this becomes a plus, and then we trans, uh, then we conjugate, conjugate it, which is why because we've uh, transposed and made this a negative, it now becomes a plus, and these both become negative. This one goes back to negative. So if you had these two as real parts, if that was an i, if that was a two, and that was say a four, then we can automatically assume well it would be Hermiton because we can see they're changing back, and we can uh, assume that it's normal as well because they're both the same. So you multiply in the same matrix just twice. Here we get this. We multiply the other way around, and we get this again. So five zero zero five, which means it is normal. So I hope that helped someone.